What's your astrology sign? Virgo. Thank you ever so kindly. Okay, what I picked up on is that you had a stepdaughter and that she had sandy blonde hair and she's got a heavy weight. She has like blue eyes? Yes. Is that true? Really? Okay. That's true. Okay, um, does she have a son? She has two. She has two sons. And they have brown hair. Right. And, um... One of red. One of red. red. Yeah, brownish brown. And it's a light brown color. Mm -hmm. Um, and he has brown eyes, the youngest one. Yes. And, um, the... The other one's like really tall, way taller than her. Right. And um, How do you know that? I'm just seeing it psychically. And uh, he has a mustache and he has black hair. Right. Really? He's 16 years old. Right? Wow. And he's really tall and he has a mustache. I think mm -hmm. that's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. And um, um, let's see. Um, no, it's okay. We're going to the same. Um, anyways, we're going we're going just, to yeah, that's right. Okay. Um. My sister used to live I know. On the street. Okay. Really? Well, that's weird that I'm even just going on the street because I'm just randomly. Well, she used to in his house on the corner. It's yellow. Okay. Cool. Um. Um. Is she really short too? And she has mm -hmm. glasses. Your sister? No. no, that's the one that died. Oh, that's the one that died, and she had brown hair, mm -hmm. and she's short, and she has glasses, mm -hmm. like bottle cut glasses. Right. The one that died. Mm -hmm. And she smokes some cigarettes a lot. Right. She died from cancer. She can't say this one thing. And um. Yeah. Don't tell me. I'll tell you. You know. No cheating. And, um, she used to sit on the porch a lot. Yeah. And she had a big old black dog. Right. And she called it her protector. <laughs> right. And, um, she would have to hold it down sometimes when the company came over and she would oh, yeah. grab it oh, by the mouth and be like, shut your mouth. Oh, and she was aggressive with it, you know? Oh. And that's her dog, her puppy. And, um, uh, I mean, I'm just picking this up. And, uh, uh, she says hi from New Orleans or something like that. Has she ever been to New Orleans? I don't know for sure. Where is she going? Oh, yeah. She traveled a lot. She traveled a lot. And, um, she had a friend that stayed with her that was, like, schizophrenic or something like that? Um, there was somebody in her life, but she got rid of her. Yeah. And, um, like, she had her own house. It was, right. like, a two-story house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, and, um, she... Collected dolls. Someone right, did. Yeah. Collected dolls. She had a doll collection. And big uh, dolls. Big dolls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like porcelain dolls and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing. And um, do you do you think she was born in February or March or what? She's born in March the third. March, yeah, because I'm seeing she that she's a Pi March she's first. she's a Pisces. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, don't tell me. I could tell you. She could probably tell me if, when she dies because I've had dates come through some spirits mm -hmm. and um stuff and um. But why are they sending you the signals? Why aren't you special? Nobody's special. We all can do this. We just have to pay attention to you each other. To, yeah, yeah. We just have to tune in. in yes, we have to do that. That's all we do. Hmm. That's all you can do. So what you see is what you get. So right. you can't postpone things either. Right. But it's special that the person will cooperate and listen to you, you know? Right. That's what it is. The well, gift is yours that you're giving to well, me. See you. I'll see you again. I don't know, we're recording, we're gonna do this reading real quick, okay? And then we'll talk about that later. Um, just, I gotta keep going. And, um, her son played basketball. Yeah. And, um, she, she got, one of her sons got in a fight at a food court or something like that. Uh, I don't know, I'm just seeing something, whatever's in her life, I guess. And, um, is she like Garfield or something? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, she did? Mm -hmm. Something about Garfield, she's telling me. Because yeah. she's... She's really fast too, and she yeah. used to uh, play with these balls to for her stress. Mm -hmm. She's good with balls, mm -hmm. and she's really fast talker. Right, right, and right. Uh, she she, yard she, she liked artichokes or something. Right, and she'd make she'd even cook stuff out outside in a pan. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, cakes and ice cream. That's cool, and um, uh, something about a school coach or something. She had a whistle too on the porch. Something for the dog. Like, for the dog whistle mm -hmm. for the dog, okay. And she had a crush on the school coach or something like that? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know either. I don't um, really keep up with a sexual one. Well, that's fine. Okay, well. Let's, 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 Disney Channel. For, okay, anyways. Um, let's go back to this. Michael, guy named Michael, you know? Mm-hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. Um, He's a mean man. Oh, he is? Did he wear a suit and tie and stuff? 
No. Wait, well, I'm seeing a guy with suit and a tie, and he's tall, and he it's black? like, no, he's white, and this is uh, probably in spirit, because this is like a 1950s looking person or something. He's dressed like that, you know? I don't know. Something to do with her, I don't know. Um, let's just get back to her and see what she's doing now, because she's talking to me, you know? Mm. So she's something to um, tune in with. Um, she had, did she have pet rabbits? Soon she's gonna make stew out of them? No, it's my other sister. Okay. She has the rabbits. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm getting everything twisted, I guess. Um, which is fine. But yeah, you're... Okay. I'm, I'm, because I'm not staying focused. Okay, no, it's fine. You don't have to do anything. I have to do it, and I'm driving, and it's annoying. Okay, um, you just say yes or no, that's it, you know. Um, but, um... Yeah, I'm still picking up. Your stepdaughter is like kind of tan looking and stuff. Yeah. And she's got baby face, you know, smooth right. skin. Mm -hmm. Um, right. straight hair. And, right. and, um, she ruined her teeth or something. Her tooth was mm -hmm. ruined. Teeth was ruined. Um, she had a big dinner uh -huh. Yeah. And, um, she had a collected debt or something. She collected a debt, something like that. Yeah, child support. Oh, she did? Okay. Okay. Um, um, also, um, something about imprints with a manager. Um, I don't know, it might be her mother in law because, um, well, she bought the daycare from her mother in law. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm seeing her like something like that too. Um, and she was a janitor too and stuff, or she just cleaned mm -hmm. things a lot. Um, she had to clean the deck every day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's cleaning it and stuff. And um, uh, foster care, she wanted to own a foster care or something. Right. She wanted um, to adopt some. She wanted to adopt some. Before something. she had her. All right, yeah. Um, yeah. And um, she had something wrong with her stomach when she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had like this yellow fluid come out of her. Yeah, she was sick when she was pregnant. Uh -huh. And uh, she has anemia. She has anemic right. too. Um, that was the second one. Okay. Um, and um, she had to drive across the country to get her tubes tied. Okay, well, wherever she did. She got her tubes tied because mm -hmm. she, she was dangerous for her to get pregnant right. again. That's right. why she wanted to go to foster care and get a baby. I'm right, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. I'm doing psychic readings. Right. Um, you're a Virgo, Virgo rising, moon and Leo, and Virgo risings are readable. Hello, and you'll attract spiritual people like me. Which is lucky you. I love Virgo risings, love Virgos. Second my favorite, second favorite sign. Anyways, um, back to the reading. Um Um Cousin's house, something about we're close to it or something. I don't know though. Um, um I, I'm going uh, let's see. Um, okay, um, I'm picking it up. Don't put it down. Um, did, okay, the girl with the cancer, did she have breast cancer? Yep. But she had flat uh, chest, though, right, right. even if she had breast cancer. Right. And she had a bracelet saying that she had cancer or something. Mm -hmm. or, and, um, My dad oh, okay. Yeah, it was like some kind of rosary looking bracelet. Right. It was really yeah. pretty. It was blue. Right. It's blue. Catholic. Color. Catholic, yeah. Design. And she she wore that. And she like wore sporty clothes, like right. shorts and mm -hmm. gray Classic shirts stuff. and stuff. Racing. Mm-hmm. And sandals. Um oh, she also been to Alaska or somewhere like snow. Yeah. She's been there? Mm-hmm. She went to Alaska. I went to Alaska. She traveled. I'm seeing that. That's cool. Anchorage. I totally thought she was a Pisces. March and shit. That's right. March or February is she is Pisces. March, she is Pisces. And um it's really cool. Um she's a fast talker, you know like me. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And um She may be talking to you, but <laughs> she's fine. She's good. I hope she talks fast. And I can't keep up with all the things she wants to say. She had some kind of tiger looking doll uh, statue or something like that. Or a painting in her house. I'm not the some kind of tiger or uh, cougar looking thing. I'm not sure what it is. Big stuffed animal. 
It was, was it a, it was, it was, it was a, a lion. It was a lion? Mm -hmm. It was a girl lion, right? Right. Because it didn't have like the furry no, hair. Uh, That's, see, I'm seeing it's a girl lion, right. not a guy lion. I'm right. right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. Yeah. And, um, um, I kind of see her house. I guess she had like, um, the kitchen near the backyard. Right. It was like a duplex she had though. Right. It was so right she had, and porch on the back. Yeah. For the, Okay, well, right. I tell you, and she had a turquoise wall she painted on. She painted a mm -hmm. turquoise wall in the middle of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> she had wooden stairs. Scary. Wooden staircases, right? Yeah, but it's scary before you know this much information. No, this is cool. Well, you can trust me with the information okay. because I'm not doing anything bad about right. it. Well, I'm just here to relay it. the messages, and right. I just want to do that, and it's, it's really fucking cool. Right. It's interesting. Yeah, we can get contact with God and spirits and everything, too. They can tell us all kinds of good stuff, especially animals, right. like her dog, and, um, oh, her dog had a miscarriage? I don't know. Her dog was black, but it had a little bit of white spots, right. like, right. like little white mm. spot speckles, like mm. freckle looking things. And I would have blue eyes too, didn't it? I don't know for sure. And it had its ears flopped down and had yeah, a little muzzle. It floppy. Yeah, it was really pretty. And it was just a guard dog, it was a protector dog, right. and it knew when she was having seizures. She had seizures, right? Right, right. I can tell that the dog seizures. telling me that she the dog would pay attention to her when she had seizures and stuff and they were just really close to each other and she's Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the dog ended up uh running off and dying, right? Before she died, is what I'm saying. Right. So she's gonna be with her dog whenever right. she dies, is what she would say. Right. Is that what she'd say? Mm -hmm. um, she's gonna wait to be there. Yeah, yeah. She's saying that to me, like in the past. Is what I'm saying, I guess. And um, there. Um, she also played some game with um, ch chopsticks or something. I have no clue what it is, and it like like. You know that there's a ball and there's little dicey looking things, but they're not dicey things. They're just they're oh, pointy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. what are those things called? The jacks. Jacks. Mm -hmm. That's the game that she's playing. Right. Um, that's really funny. And um, she would eat, make soup outside, mm -hmm. artichokes. She would have grilled cheese sandwiches outside. She would make them outside because she had a stove outside, a little right. carry portable stove mm -hmm. outside on her porch. She had a big old porch and it was wooden floors and and um she would do that that's funny and a, a an aunt sherry next door or something yeah. she would talk about i can't remember her exact name she called aunt sherry or something yeah. like that and they would share sherry the drink mm -hmm. i guess actually is that true mm -hmm. they would drink sherry together I mean, she was always welcoming everybody around. She's always cooking and enjoying she's, Yeah, she's always doing something for other people and wanting to just invite everybody just to... Making me say it now, though. Fest it. Fest it, my sister. She's enjoyed her life, though. And, um... She, she lived a really good... Like, she lived out her life that she wanted. Even She was oh active with all kinds of activities. All kinds of things. And so many interests, you know. Such a Pisces. Very adventurous. Like... Super cool, and um, her did she have a husband that had glasses and he was kind of a mute? Yeah, but he's from the Orient. He, he do what? He's from the Orient. He's dark. He's uh, yeah, Asian. Yeah, yeah, and he has black hair, mm -hmm. and um, he was just a mute. He didn't talk much right. or something like that, and um, <laughs> she just he just tagged along with her in her mm -hmm. right in her world, because right. that's her way of her world. She's just mm -hmm. multiple. Ago, I know where we're going. Don't. Okay, um, anyways, um, and, but you ever lived on this side? No. Okay, um, anyways, um, still fucking driving. Okay, um, well, she, Costa Rica, she went to Costa Rica or something? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, she dropped a lot of whatever. Um, she, she had a lot of friends that played poker. Mm -hmm. She did that too? Right, like on. she played jacks, poker, mm -hmm. all this bit. Anything with her hands. Yeah, anything with her hands. She's like, loud and boisterous is what she says she is or something like mm -hmm. that. That's what she said, calls it. Yeah, loud and boisterous, whatever that thing means. <laughs> and then that's cool. Um, 
Aladdin and Jasmine, I love them. That's my favorite, too. I don't know. She likes them, too? <laughs> I don't know. Um, she had a toaster oven. She had a toaster and all that stuff. Well, duh. Um, uh, you've been to her house, and she made you uh, bacon pizza. Mm -hmm. She made you bacon pizza. Mm -hmm. That's a specific meal. I know. That's crazy, huh? I didn't know that. I'm picking that up. I'm picking that mm -hmm. up. But you were out at her house, mm -hmm. and she was making you bacon pizza. Mm -hmm. And, um, broccoli. Because she wanted to put something healthy on it. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. And, um, she cook you eggs, anything, sausage, in the mornings and stuff. She just always ready to make someone something. So sweet. Um, and she had to go to the counseling office for some reason. She didn't want to go. Yeah. She tried, yeah, she's like, talk me, my, how do I get my talk myself out of going to counseling mm -hmm. again, is what she said. She, she always liked to counseling. She wore a watch, too. Right. And she wanted to throw it away. Mm -hmm. She wanted to throw her watch away because she was tired of time. Right. You know what I mean? Just like everybody says, we don't like that time schedule crap. Right. You're a Virgo. You like time schedule crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. And, um, um, Frosting on a cake. I don't know something about that. Yeah, she made her own. Frosting on a cake. And, um. Hey, can you just drop me off the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we're going. Duh. But I want to do this. Maybe we'll go in there and do the second reading there because I don't want to stop. That would be dumb. Because spirits. Well, we can't go in the lobby, though. We have to sit outside now. You can Wait. go inside and. Get your coffee. Yeah. So we won't be loitering. Duh. Right. Okay. We can't be lobby. We can't stay in the lobby. I don't fucking know. We can go wherever we want to if we're gonna get coffee there. We're customers. The end. Any fucking ways back to the reading because that's bullshit. Okay. Um, life is bullshit without doing this, right? It's mm -hmm. stupid. Like, once you get a hold of this, that's what God is. That's a, what right. you've been looking for all fucking day. You've been all suffering time. all fucking time. And then once you get there, you're like, oh, I might as well just live our goddamn life and be fucking pathetic and be distracted by some bullshit. When you wanted this, everyone does, right? Mm. Stupid. So continue. Okay. Um, especially with your relative or whatever that you miss and all that stuff, duh, that's how you contact them. They're still existing. And, um, the, she would do her own laundry in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yeah. That's crazy. And, um, she had a swimming pool in the backyard too. Yeah. She would do her laundry back there too. Yeah. I put one in as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, she had a pet turtle. Yeah. A big giant turtle. And a big monkey. A monkey? No, a pig. A what pig? pig. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that yet. Um. Let's see. A rabbit's foot. She got. Oh, the pig was hairy. Half hairy and half pink. It was pink though. Mm. But it had white hair and black right, hair. Right. Like, it was just like furry-ish. Mm -hmm. It wasn't It wasn't fully hairy, but it was half hairy, half not. Right, that's right. what I'm seeing. That's the pig. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what I'm seeing now. And, um... Uh, uh, it was inflicted with pain. Something... The dog killed it. The dog chewed its neck up and killed it, right? Yeah. That's true? Because it, it was inflicted and bad. It was like, I amputated mm -hmm. its, 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 its neck. That's what I'm saying. The dog chewed it up, killed it. It was afflicted with pain and it died. Uh, she also had a pet bird too. No. And it was blue. No. What? She didn't have a bird. Oh, she never had a bird? Okay. She never had a bird. Well, I guess she had a toy bird for the dog or something? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, she, she did have that. Oh, it was blue and white? Blue. Okay. It looks real though. The bird yeah. to me. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying, I guess, because she's carrying around like a toy. It's for the dog mm -hmm. to distract the dog from chewing up the pig. Right. But it got a hold of it anyways and killed it. And, um, she was, she cried about that too. It was heartbroken because she loved that dog and she didn't like that it did that to her pig. And, but it was a protective dog and she got her, still forgave it, you know? Mm -hmm. Still loved the dog. It was just heartbreaking for her. She cried over that because she was crying because it was, you know what I mean? She loved the dog. <laughs> anyway. No, I'm getting depressed, so can I stop? Really? Mm -hmm. That's depressing to you? No, it's just a pleasure to hear 
from my sister, bro. Yeah. It's depressing that she's gone. Yeah. But she's not now. No. I found her again. Yeah, so why would you want to stop talking to her? That'd be more depressing for her and you. It'd be like, oh, click, let's just hang up over some emotion that you can well, still... Well, I feel I need to walk and be by myself. Uh, well, I understand that too. But, okay, let's just cut this fucking yeah. shit off and be retarded. About angels, you can ask about God and all kinds of stuff. You can contact anybody, but let's just, let's, I don't know, because we're on baby emotion. I understand, whatever, but it's dumb. It's really dumb. Okay, you're here. Alright, thank you. Okay, toodles. This is your part. You are a cancer. Your Gemini rising like me, maybe. So you like to talk a lot and fast. And, um, oh, ooh, even better. You have 10th house Aquarius. That's like my favorite placement for people who I can direct to be in the movies or whatever, mm -hmm. like I want them to do skits or whatever. You would be able to be like um, someone who on like in a play and someone is sick and you can play your part and their part too. Right? And you'd be very cooperative during someone trying to make you be on camera or or in a, a play or something like that. You know what I mean? Well, I wouldn't know that. Did, wouldn't your mom, doesn't your, it wasn't your mom a narcissist because your fourth house is in Leo and she treated you like a celebrity and she wanted you to be and stuff like that? No. And found out your potential? Oh, well, she's not. Well, anyways, did your mom spoil you or did she treat you? No. Because your moon is in Taurus, that means you're entitled to everybody's money and you're a spoiled brat by her. Or she was. I am a spoiled brat by there her. There you go, there you go. Your Saturn's in Cancer, so your dad mother to nourish you or. Or he. Even my father would do not. Could yeah, could, yeah, because this is your challenges, your discipline, your restrictions, your responsibility. So you had to be his mom or something like that. And uh, he could have given you, gave you a home and took it away from you. Gave you a home and took it away from you. Does that sound correct? Like giving you a home family and then take it away from you. Did he do that or not? Saturn in the second. What, what and possessions and food and money. He could have, he wanted to control your money. Right? No, he never did that. Okay, was he kind of like mother, broke? My mother, oh God, no. Okay, oh then God, he either oh spoiled you oh, and then didn't spoil you. Oh God, yes, he was broke. Oh, he's he, broke. He would have a job, he would have a good paying job and then work it for three months and then quit. Okay. And that was, my parents have been married, let's see, I'm 45, he, uh, They've been married for 46 years, and my mother sat down and figured it out, and he had three jobs a year for every year that they were married. Wow, okay. So, that's a hundred and something damn jobs. Awesome, okay. Um, your Mercury is in Gemini, that's how you think you communicate. It's at home with itself, because Mercury is ruled by Virgo and Gemini. So... You would think before you speak, like you don't like interrupt people like I do, but um, cause, but we're still Gemini rising, um, so you'll have a lot to say because you're informative and stuff. And then like, um, your Venus is in Leo. That's what you're looking for in a relationship and how you act. So you might act like a narcissist and want all the attention, and you're probably really generous in a relationship, and you probably, um, like mm. you 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 make like it become a story like how you meet people and stuff or uh whoever you're with is kind of like drum it's becomes dramatic or something like that i don't know maybe 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 i'm not sure um well who is it anyway it's in a way your venus is in the third house which is siblings com neighbors and communities and that means you're kind of a player you treat everyone like the same in a relationship, but you're with this other person trying to try on them out and you want samples of everybody in a relationship. And then you kick everybody out of your life until you have that one person and then you want to treat them like they're the only one, but you're still being a player. And then your Mars is your sexual expression, how you get mad at people. You don't like to make everybody mad, so you like, you chill until someone nitpicks at you, nitpicks at you. Then, finally, you, you are powerfully mad and I'm nobody, worried. yeah, nobody wants to do that ever again to you but because you'll be like you think you're real cute right now but please just don't make me mad it's not worth it because like you could be a girl scout cookie they could buy your girl scout cookies you know what i mean like you just don't want to eliminate the pleasures in life with between anybody so you don't want to ruffle their feathers while they're just bull bullying you when you are the cancer bully anyways so. <laughs>
<laughs> and then you put your innocent face on when they try to back you in a corner by yourself. When you can get anybody and everyone gang up on whoever your attacker is anyways, right? Still, you know, you have a... And your fifth house is in Libra, which and you have a beautiful heart. And you have a beautiful soul because your tenth, twelfth, twelfth house, which is the spirit and world of Pisces, is Taurus too. And you're, okay, you go to bed, you want to know everything, and then you can't sleep. And then when you wake up... No, I never can sleep. Right, you can't sleep early. And because your mind's always going, wanting to know something or... Have, and I have uh, well, your ninth house is in Aquarius. I wonder if you have um, anything else in the ninth house that makes you have sleeping pills. Jupiter in the ninth house. You have in your Jupiter's in planet of luck, and it's in Aries. It's yourself. It's the identity. It's how you react to people. It's like survival, and then. But um, your Lilith is in Pisces, and it's in the 10th house, the public's eye. Your 10th house is in Aquarius. Like I've already said before, so you have to rebel to become yourself in a career or whatever. You want to be your own entrepreneur, and you don't want to be led by the ideas of other people. You have your own idea on how to make money and stuff like that, or you just get on that side check and be done with it because Aquarius is. I'm on disability. Well, Aquarius is the one who discovered that, like um, the, when the presidents did that or something. Okay. Because but I did make my own money. Oh, yeah? and But you had to rebel to do it, kind of? Or what? I went against the grain. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm saying. You had to rebel to become. And it took many, one. many years for my mother to finally accept that I was actually doing... Your moon is in the twelfth house, and your Lilith is in Pisces. The twelfth house is ruled by Pisces, and your and your Lilith is in Pisces in the tenth house, which you're talking about right now. <laughs> and that means your mother to make mm. connection. So you have to rebel against your mother to do this, and at the same time, because it's all connected and connected in that way. And that's funny, and weird. And you're just talking about it, and this is where this how you point out those highlighted areas. What you're talking I about. Should have rebelled against a really bad. To, and then you become proud of what you just did to rebel against whatever. My feet are dirty. So, have you ever had all your stuff taken away from you, like possessions and food for a while, and then you have to, so hard for you to get all that stuff whenever when everybody else is all easy for them, because your Saturn is in the second house of your possessions. I ended up temporary. homeless and exactly. lost, ev I lost everything I had. That's what you would be ended up with this placement. I had a huge Barbie collection. Oh, I love that song. That's awful because that's what I own and that's what I just keep forever wanting. Um, so you would have been so amazed. I had I had those you know those little fans boxes. No, oh. you know those little boxes that you put screws and bolts and shit. Like shadow boxes. No, the, the tray. The, the, there are those plastic things with the slide out trays. Oh, that's and funny. you put different nails, different right. sizes of nails all different Barbies. Or screws. No, there was. I had all their shoes organized. Oh, that's funny. I had all the shoes organized for when I needed this pair of shoes or that pair of shoes. Or, Neptune in the um, second house. Hmm. Neptune in the sixth house is what you have in Scorpio, and your Neptune is in Sagittarius. Mm, bitch, ain't so mine. you kind of help me out. You should. I don't know. Your Pluto's in Libra. That means you, when you isolate yourself, you like to pick somebody just to be by yourself with. You know what I mean? Is that true? What? When you when you isolate yourself or when you have a secret, you like you try to be around somebody else to to have that moment with yourself, just to be isolated. You know what I mean? Because your Pluto doesn't leave breath. But anyways, your Uranus yes, isn't... Your, your, I isolate myself. I'm reading books. Your Uranus isn't leave so when you're unusual and awkward acting, it's really just normal. You are decent when you act like that. When you act like an oddball, but you're actually... It's just seen as normal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to be like, outcast you because of it. Because you're like, mm -hmm. just are decent. It's normal. For, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Other people are like, oh, what a weirdo. But with you, it's just like, oh... Not that, oh, it's normal for them to be a weirdo. It's just, no, it means that you do it in a way that's not so weirdo-like. Because your Uranus is a Libra. 
No, funny. <laughs> and um, it's relational too, because Libra rules. It's kind of in invention in your relationships, inventing new ways to make relationships work or whatever. Your North Nod is in Sagittarius, and it's in it, this this last, and it's in the Stop the, the, the sixth house of day day routines. Perfection. Bench. That's your purpose. Bench. You came here for that. Okay, let's see what else. If you have any asteroids, why they come to you and get healed. Them. Bitch owes me fucking That's money. Mm. And she ain't even gonna help me get no damn cigarette. I mean, I don't need money. Cancers have legal power. They can't stop their unhealthy habits. But anyways, that's your chart, and that was fun. I'm dealing with it. Oh, you have Jupiter in the your lucky house, the, I think the third house. So you're lucky with being a public speaker and writing stories or something. You're the one. Oh, here they come. There, there you are. This is the last thing I want to say until I see it. Um... I think your Jupiter's in the third house. No, it's in the the eleventh house. Uh, Aries, eh. friends, and social media and stuff like that. Okay, and other stuff. Toodles. You are a Libra, and your Pisces rising, and your Moon is in Aquarius, and your Saturn's in Aquarius. Wow, your Venus is in Scorpio, your Mars is in Cancer, your Jupiter's in Virgo. Your Lilith is in Aquarius. Okay, then. Well, your Lilith is in Aquarius, which means you have multiple orgasms. And uh, your Mars is in Cancer, which means you kind of rather cuddle than have sex or something. Yes. And you're all about your family. You And your Venus is in Scorpio, which means you have passion and desire. And the way you get to know people is kind of through sex, too. And death, sex, transformation. You transform other people. You leave imprint on and then your Pluto's in Scorpio, and your North Nod is in Sagittarius, you're meant to travel and stuff. Your 10th house is your public image is Sagittarius, which means you're going to be a lucky girl. You're lucky with being well-known. Your 4th house is Gemini, which means you gossip and talk a lot more at home, and your siblings and neighbors and friends, and your 3rd house is in Gemini. When you're in, you come off as every sign, because your Pisces rising is to the face. And your 12th house is in Aquarius, which means you're mentally in spirit, like intuitive and spirit and then um you're not your sun sign is in the seventh house so a, a virgo you're supposed to be uh attracting all these ocdc people practical people or whatever and you know what i mean but you're the pisces rising and you said you attract all these people that are spiritual where Let's see your sun sign, and you attract people like you though. Your moon is in the seventh house too, so you're you're attracting people just like your mother. You attract people like your mom. Was she like your friend, or was she racist, prejudiced, or she was? She's kind of like that. She's kind of like you can't be a weirdo and stuff like that. But you rebelled and became your unique self, and it's none of her business, right? Just like your dad, is your dad the same way? Because your son is an Aquarius as well. Did he teach you? And it's in the eleventh house, Capricorn. Um, of your friendship, your Jupiter is in the Virgo. You're lucky with living to your own abundance and turning things into products. And your sixth house is in Leo, so you're lucky with getting attention and uh, expressing yourself. Your Saturn is in the eleventh house of Aquarius knowledge. Your North is in Sagittarius in the ninth house. You're you're meant to have a philosophy and travel and stuff, and have a bigger picture view of God kind of thing, and be a guru and be well known. Anyways, you can be famous. Your eighth house is in Scorpio. That's your death sex house, and I mean, and your Pluto is there. Your secrets and how you isolate yourself in the eighth house of cult knowledge. Your Lilith is in the twelfth house of Aquarius, spirit and psychic ability and stuff, and insecurities and, and hidden talents. Your Venus is in the eighth house. You're looking for other people's money, and you could be jealous in relationships. Your Mars is in the fourth house of home, and it's in Cancer. You put all your willpower into your family. 
and having a family or something in your home. I don't know. People come to you to be in their reputation. You give everybody a good reputation because you're CRS is in Capricorn. Like you would be the boss that, or you wouldn't be the boss at work, but everyone would come to you and treat you like the boss, even if you're not even the boss there. And um, they want to put you down as a reference and you make their, you know, get hired better if they were to be seen with you. Is that true? If, if, if they put you down as a reference mm -hmm. uh, for work, and you call, they call you and you talk about them, you talk good about them, it would help them get hired better because you're prep being around you, like your reputation gives them a good reputation. Is that right about you? No, I but... Okay. Do, at work, do people treat you like a boss, even if no. you're not the boss? Oh, okay. Your crown is in Leo, your Juno is in Cancer. Fortune is in Scorpio. Okay. I'm, I'm Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't believe me or not, but I just did talk with dead people. You, you speak spirits? Yes. Really? Me too. I love it. But I, when I just... Me too. I speak to spirits too. But I don't like it because they, um... I love it. I don't like it because they, um... And sometimes they're bad. And, um... Well... And they're good, so I'm bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of dreams about um, demons and um, uh, some of them or some of the people who I know in my dream. Okay, what did you say? What was the word again uh, that came to you in the dream? Elevatus Imperium. Elevatus Imperium. Is that like a spell? I don't know. They, they just, uh, they was just, it a demon or a good no, friend? They just came in my mind and I just yes. to elevate. Come to me too. I just came to elevate in my dreams. Mm -hmm. But when I start to elevate um, some of those people mm -hmm. and try to to hold me with um, racks. Yeah, chakras and stuff. Yeah. And then I try to escape. You tried to escape? Uh -huh. from when, you were, when you were laying there or just because they were laying rocks on you? Because they don't like when I just um, elevate. Elevate, like what does that supposed to mean, elevate? Um, your spirit vibration no, no, rises no, no, and all shit? No, no, no. When I say you that, levitate? Like, levitate. Like floating? Yeah, yeah floating, floating. So you did float? Yes. Like a Libra does? Most Libras can float. That's their superpower, and most Virgos are hypnotizing. And all kinds of stuff I've come up with. But you actually levitated because you were so balanced? Yeah, I was levitating my dreams. Hmm. And oh, you mean astral project? You float out of your body? And then sometimes uh, bad spirits take me uh, outside from my body. It's like a dream, but it's not the same. It's not like it's like a dream, but it's not at the same time. Yeah. Because they take me outside my body, mm -hmm. and I can see my body in my bed. Yeah, that's astral projection. That doesn't mean that they're doing it. You did it to yourself. And sometimes they attack me, and they sometimes they oh. ask me for help. Oh. And the bad spirits that's about too. Yes. And, and they're dark energies? Or they're just bad people or what? No, demons. Demons and bad spirits. How do you and know the difference? Because they are very um, dark. Yes. They're super dark, more dark than the shadow. That's shadows. what dark demons are, yeah. But the shadow, more dark than the shadow. Does it give you headaches, the dark demons? Do they unhealthy no, for your they body? No, they take my, my energy. They just take the light from you? Yes. And they, uh, the last time, well, the last time that I, when I have a dream about it, mm -hmm. um, somebody of them did tell me that if I don't go with them, yeah, they would take my family. Oh, they can't take nobody without Jesus. Well, can protect you though. Have you I seen know. Jesus? Have you mm -hmm. seen Jesus yet? Yeah, sometimes. Well, I don't know if it's Jesus or not, but sometimes some lights. When I just have my brain aneurysm, uh huh. And brain aneurysm. Uh, mm -hmm. Many days, uh, somebody came to came to my my um yeah. my room. Yeah. And they take me out from my my body. Yes. And then I see this person, it's not the, like a person, it was like an angel or like... An a, angel with light, wings? Light, light person. Uh-huh. Light a light being? Yeah. To protect you? Yes. And they put something behind my head. And I can feel it when they, when he put some light, like a crystal, yeah. but with light. And then they put it behind my, my neck. My, I mean my head. Mm -hmm. And then he live. When he live, I feel like he put some feet in my face. 
because he didn't want me to stop. He just wants to cover his face. Oh, he didn't want you to see him no. because you're not allowed to see the image of God. And sometimes Jesus will cover up his face because it's just too much image of God. But I've seen his face before, and then the last two times I've seen him, he wouldn't show me his face. He showed me the back of his head and his hair in front of his face like this. Was it kind of like that? No. The last time I think we were, if it was God or not, um, mm -hmm. it was a voice, like a strong, like super powerful voice. And he told me many things. <clears throat> like what? Uh, I don't remember, but I know it was a big conversation. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I remember is, um, is something about my sexual. Really? Yeah. He told me about that. And um, he said, don't worry, we want to work with that before. But first you have to do this. But I don't remember what he told me. But it was just a voice. And that dream, that dream it was so different about the others. Mm -hmm. Maybe so, too much different from the others. Did they think it was kind of bad or something, no, or did they just think it's good? Your sexuality yeah. is good. I mean, he say he want he wants. He, I mean, I, I think he tried to say we want to work with that. Mm. Work with that. Yeah, I think yeah, just he say like that. That's insane. Yeah. But it was many, in many things more that happened to me mm -hmm. every night and every day. Really, still? Mm -hmm. Because I'm always. Do you see them in people, person? More yeah. spirits around other people? Um, no, but I can. But it's most more in my dreams. More in my dreams, I can see person. I can see people. I can see many things. And sometimes when I close my eyes and when I'm when I concentrate too much and I want to know something about you, mm -hmm. it, many images come to my, my mind okay. and start to blow like, you know, like many things. And sometimes they are true because I talk with people sometimes about Can you try to do this on me? Mm, I don't know. I don't like to do this because it's, I don't know. It's something you should like doing because it's an ability that you have to do it on other people. And I don't like because the last time when I, you know, I was being... I've seen Jesus, I've seen angels with wings, why couldn't you want to do this on me? This would be a bomb.com time to do it. Because this is what you're supposed to be doing. Oh. There's nothing else better to do than that. Ignoring it's bullshit. I know, I never know. I just don't like to do it then. Well, try to like it. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, I mean, that's I'll why you I have a lot, lot of tattoos. You? A lot of tattoos like to pull. When I, I oh, make wow, this... Pretty. Wow. You did that? Let me see that. Let me see. This is pretty... The other one. Oh. And I have... <gasps> Beautiful. An eye. And I have this one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have the other one that I felt out. Cool. The shrine. With the moon. Because uh, I try to uh, block many things about me. Spirits? Yeah, because they attack me too much. They attack you because you have the light and they just want it. Yeah, I know. I know that. So you're like part of heaven? It's light? But, I don't know. I'm just... I have a lot of things in my mom. No, my dad, no. <clears throat> and sometimes I have a lot of problems like, you know, with people. And I know it's because of that. You know, many strange things happen in life when you born with this or but you follow it. <laughs> and I always uh, meet people like you. I just, yeah? Yeah. Like with this kind of thing, spiritual things. I always attract to people like you. Wow. You might have seventh house Pisces and Virgo rising, but you are a Libra. Mm -hmm. This is my why why. In astrology. I'm going to do your chart in a minute. This is my. Uh, this is what happened to me, but this is what I'm asking you. What would you do if this happened to you? If a spirit had a box in its hand and it and it was like, kind of looked like grass, but it was like a box. And he says, take it, 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 take it. Like he was so desperate to give, mm -hmm. to take, give, give it to you. What would you do? Okay. What would you do if an angel with a ball of light was holding it and it was a guy? Would you take the ball? 
What would you do if a demon said, I can make you powerful? I wouldn't take it. Good. Neither did I. Good job. <laughs> Neither did I, but this is what happened to me. I said, no, I'm already powerful. Fuck off. And then to the one of the box, I said, get the fuck out of my room. Get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. There was demons connected to that thing. It's like giving you a curse or something. And the angel with the ball of light, I said, what is it? What is that? He wouldn't tell me. Or I couldn't hear it because you have to focus in on your spiritual ears. Sometimes they, they, just, um, they pretend to be a good light, but they know because light, uh, because our Lucifer is light. Yeah, really? Yes. Watch it. Lucifer is light. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah. That can be a bad light. Exactly. So never trust anybody. No. <laughs> just communicate with the seed, observe it, and the I just I have me. Just I just have I just me. Have me. We're, we are all on our own. That's what I'm saying. I'm just so have true. me, and I just truth with me, and I just have faith with me. You yeah. Know? And every time when I just go to bed, or when I just have, um, when I just driving or do something, I just always. Um, I don't know how to say Protect it. yourself with the light or something. Yes. Chill, and you made yourself bigger. How do you say, that? Um. Let me, I can give you a thousand, I don't want to say this. I have to think how to say it in English because my English, I mean, okay. mm. pause. I just want to, I don't want to say Omnipresence? Yeah, omnipotent or omnipresence. Yes. There's God yes. that can be inside with me uh -huh. and I let him be inside with me and mm. outside me and my energy and I um, invoke, how do you say when you... Yeah, invoke is for you. Accept yeah. Jesus into your heart. Invoke him. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. Well, I just let them be inside with me always. The light, the true light. Yes. I always say true, because you never know. The light can be um, dangerous too. Yeah. So yeah, and I learned all that in my dreams. Nobody told me nothing. <laughs> yeah. And they still um, teach me in my dreams. Do you see animal spirits too? Animals? Mm -hmm. No, just lights. Like Do you see any animals that ever died in your life? No, it's just. Or other people's? Anybody's relatives? Oh uh, yes, my grandma. Oh, uh, anybody else's relatives and my, friends? My, sister, my brother. I mean, my brother, my friend. Well, he was my my, my brother. Really? He and many people, but I don't care about them. Well, I care, but sometimes they take too much energy from me. Sometimes I just, I say, please let me alone. And I want, I don't have, I can't help you, you know, I can't. They take energy from you just to be around you? Yes. That's never happened to me. I just like. I think sometimes they can be a demon or a body well, spirit. They pretend to be my grandma or my, my, maybe. my, my friend. And I don't want to, to let them take my energy because yeah it's too much yeah. and now when i feel safe in my dreams i can control it i can control my my what i'm saying what i want to do and i feel safe yeah. and sometimes my, my dreams change too fast too fast and some light can appear like, like well have you ever tried to call out to jesus even if he's just a, this rumor until you actually see him mm -hmm. and you did did it jesus? happen yeah well, I have a dream about, I don't know if he was Jesus or not, but, right. but he is not like the pictures we always see. Oh, yeah? Because they, they are pictures that can be some, someone else, you know? Yeah. Like a model that can just model like a Jesus. Well, I've seen this, Je Jesus when I called out to Jesus or whatever the times I did or whatever, he came with his light and casted away the demons around this person and other stuff and whatever, all kinds of stories I have, but several times. So, should I deny trust that, or could that just be a setup with dark demons, and he's just pretending to be a good light or something, and just then tra trap me in his light? Or was it really good? It was really good. I could never make myself feel like that. It felt like acid. It felt like this bubble. It was like a plasma aura, mm -hmm. and it was real, like a light, living spirit mm -hmm. of Jesus with his blue eyes, and um, looks just like that, but like way prettier, way really prettier. Mm -hmm. With teeth. The last time when I see a thought was Jesus, Jesus was yeah. I don't know, or probably someone, someone else like can have a light, like super high yeah. light or something like that. Yeah. And it was like person who, I can just see his body from this, uh -huh. neck, from his neck and his feet, but never I can see his face. Yeah. It's just like 
Yeah, so, like, he also like, had that too. Last that, like, I can see his eyes, I can mm. see nothing. I just heard his voice, and his voice is too strong. Yeah. And that's it. Do you think that was God or Jesus? Or uh, probably, it's, I can say it was Jesus, but I, I think um, they came... What is a good one? Probably a good one, a spirit or something. Because I think Jesus is too powerful, it's too much to to be in my dreams. Or to be in some one person. Like, well, he's you know? the savior of everyone or some bullshit. So he might have the light to save everyone with his light. And he's from heaven or something. And he is heaven or something is what I think. Like, he is heaven. Like, there's no one else. Nothing else. No, just empty well, space know. with people's spirits. And that's it. And then he's the one with the light. So he has heaven with him. Yeah, how do you know? It's what it seems like. Because that's all I know. Is That's what I've seen. That's what I get. You never tell more than that? I know angels told me... This one angel, she goes, I'm going to show you your testimony of God and that you have good chamber. So she mentioned the word God. So beat that. <laughs> because I can't just be God, but I think sometimes, I mean, probably Jesus or something, he just discovers something that we, we can't discover as a human. He discovers it. Yeah, I know, right? Because he's like supernatural. His spirit uh -huh. is supernatural. And maybe you can... Or than any other spirit. Can, maybe you can be a supernatural or somebody else. And but we have to leave. We have to leave what we are now. And we have to become in something else. I don't know. Yeah, that's why when I have... What about reincarnation? I know animals no, taught me about reincarnation. If you have reincarnation, it's just something like <clears throat> that can repeat always and always and always. So no, like you're just reborn into a different body. Like an animals is, but I don't know about us. But how do you know the animals? I mean... They told me. They showed me. But, okay, sometimes... I know, I understand that. Sometimes they can tell you something, but you, how do you know that it's a good... Thing or not, I always I never believe in when they tell me something because you never know. They try to. Yeah, you can't trust nobody. No, exactly. They can put so, when you try to discover something, and it's very important, and and and, and it's a, and you have to give a big step in your life. Mm -hmm. They try to distract you. Wow! Well, yeah, they try to distract, to distract you, you and, and put you in, in another way, and yeah. lost you. Uh -huh. And I know that very very good. Yeah. And I can recognize in my dreams which one is good and which one is not. Yeah, like a discernment. Yeah. Me too. So, well, I'm awake, though, but I don't do this dreaming thing. I actually living awake when I'm doing it and seeing it because I have to make myself do it. Mm -hmm. It's not spoon-fed to me. I have to make it happen. I have to go up to fucking strangers and find the light through them and tell them about it until I reveal more shit like spirits can come while I'm just revealing their life, shutting off their body, their mm -hmm. memories and stuff. And that's what's going on. And their organs and stuff that I don't even know. Words to like the optometrist, the gallbladder. Didn't know that shit until I went through other people's spirits. And that's what I have to go through to find Jesus and God. Because they're only working. They're telling. The only the only spirits and aliens and everything. And angels and fairies and dragons in real life. They're dragons. Apparently around people. And shadow people around people too. All kinds of spirits. And orbs. The only thing that they're listening, the only ones who they're talking to is the one who's listening to them, and we're listening to them, right? So they're talking to us. And so they always want to talk to the other person that I'm picking it up from. So I'm always, even Jesus tells me to tell this other person something. Like, he told me to tell this girl, I'm here to save Selena. That was my ex-girlfriend. And Jesus told me, he says, uh, to this other girl, my friend, she says, tell her to accept me in her heart. That's the words Jesus said too, because there was a demon around that chick, because I was picking up from it, picking it up from her, and her friend communicates with demons, and the demon just appeared around her, because I was picking up on her friends around her in her aura, you know what I mean? Like, I can pick up all her memories, and people in her life, people I've never seen before, but only through her, like a crystal ball, but it's their aura, you know? And then, you know, several fucking times, and when I saw Jesus, and one time he says, he doesn't understand this in church, I think Jesus, and then, then this other time... Jesus said, um, if you do this, I'm not going to come back for you. And I'm like, what do you mean? And that was in my room one time. And then I saw him again, and he finally came back. And that was when he said, I'm here to save Selena. And that was when I could felt the presence while I was driving. Driving, nervous wreck to drive, trying to find a place to pull over so I could listen to him. And stare at him, you know. And it was just fucking a moment. And it was down the street, too. Way down this way. But, um... I don't know, it's just cool shit. And then the last two times I couldn't see his face because I called him to come here to take up this stranger's uh, grandma and um, 
chihuahua, like I was on the phone with him because the two second rings on the phone, strangers, because it's better that way, so I can picture what they look like and what people, without never seeing them, so much easier. And then, um, yeah, and he just went and showed me his face, and I was like, wow. But before that, I was at Walmart, and I found this guy and asked him what his sign was, and then I was like, can I film you, say your sign? And then I started to give him the second ring, and it worked, and I recorded it, too. And that was awesome. And, um... I thought I saw him in there too, but it's like he you could only see the back of his head. And then the time he came into my house here, you could only see his hair over his face and a bunch of light, white light over his face. Whatever, blah, blah. But anyways, that was cool. And mm -hmm. It's so cool that you, no one else understands this bullshit. No one else yeah. understands that we're all fucking alone on our own. Yeah, you can understand. And they're insane, but yeah, they're, Jesus does like this. Because they Sometimes, um, they can all fool you to see for what you, your vibration. Mm -hmm. your vibration how I could be depressed and 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 uh fucking tired, and can still make myself try to do it on people who are readable because there's people with those just delight, and it, sometimes I can sense on them and so they can see it. Sometimes there's it's not easy to do on them, it's not as it work on everybody, but um, it works, it fucking works, and it can. I got recordings too, I can show you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>